What's going on guys? Just wanted to make a quick video about something I did to my truck when I first got it that uh, might be kind of helpful to you guys. Uh, first thing when I got this truck, I uh, you know took the grandpa steps off and put this two-wheel drive valence on here um, and put some nittos on it, leveled it on 37s, but even simpler than that, I turned off my seatbelt alarm that flashes and dings at you when you're not wearing your seatbelt. And that's not because I like driving around without my seatbelt on like a fool. I uh, believe in wearing seatbelts. I know they'll save your life. I just know that when I'm driving on the beach or uh, just on a farm, I don't want my seatbelt dinging at me the whole time. So I went ahead and turned that off and uh, I just turned it back on and I want to show you guys what I'm talking about, what that noise is, and then uh, how to turn it off because it's so much nicer than never worrying about it and being able to just make your own. Uh, decision on when to wear your seatbelt without your truck kind of deciding for you. So I believe it's back on now. We're going to go for a little drive and see if it dings at me. It took me a couple tries to remember how to do it. It's been a while, um, probably two years since I turned it off at least. I've had this truck since uh, December of 2015. Let's see here. We'll get cruising down this uh, road here and see if it uh, goes off. If y'all got any questions about my truck while we're uh, waiting for traffic here, I've got a video about just about everything. Um, exhaust, lift, uh, my tuner, everything. Um, but I have a couple other videos I'm planning on making before I sell this thing. So let me know if y'all have any requests um, about something you've noticed on my truck or you're not sure about buying. But uh, let's see, see if this thing dings at us. seatbelt on and I should have it on I'm not arguing with it there I just hate that sound so I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to turn that off so that you can run on the beach somewhere you know not on the highway with your seatbelt off because I definitely do not recommend driving without your seatbelt it's just not smart but I don't want that sound ever I just don't like the sound it's annoying so I'm gonna pull into the next spot here and and get that thing turned off real quick it only takes a little bit I'm gonna do it like in real time there it is again. I can't make a video without this thing dinging. It's aggravating. Let's see, this looks like a good spot. I'm trying to get uh, the cops called on me here. And there's some people there. That's, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, this uh, turbo kind of comes on a little bit a little bit laggy being a big single plan on making a video about it soon but really like how the power comes on man that's annoying I really appreciate this thing doing this for my video because it's what we're trying to get rid of and really proves my point that it's aggravating all right this looks like a good spot all right I'll get parked here and I'll go through the steps that you need to take to turn that sucker off. I'm just gonna pull in somewhere. All right, so first off, oh, perfect timing. All right, got her in park, I'm gonna turn it off. All right, so you just got in your truck. You want the door? unlocked you want your lights off I know this is I'm, this is legitimately like a cheat code for a video game door unlock lights off key in the ignition in the run but not the start position as if you're like waiting for the glow plugs but you want your parking brake on it's all part of the cheat code to get the truck in the right uh, setting to where it knows you're trying to tell it something. So we got the little seatbelt light on there. We're gonna wait for that to go out. And once that goes out, it's in the mode 
it knows that the door's unlocked, the parking brake's on, the lights are off, the keys in the ignition are in the run position. It knows that you are trying to tell it something. Then what we're gonna do is put our seat belt in and out three times. Uh, not too fast, not too slow. You got probably like 30 seconds to do it. Uh, but let's, let's watch this light go out here. Probably another 30 seconds before, before it goes out. I just had to do this like three times because I forgot how to do it, but I got it figured out now, and now it's dinging at me. Hopefully I can turn it back off because I hate it. Takes a while. That's why I want to show you all in real time so that you don't think you're doing it wrong. It really does take a while for it to go out. All right, it's out. Seat belt. One, two, three then that'll come back on then uh, put it back in take it out and it'll flash like four or five I think six times depending on if you're turning it on or off so it should be off now uh, I'm gonna turn the key back off because I believe that's what you're supposed to do and I'm gonna start over start the truck up All right, remember to take my brake off so still no seat belt on we're gonna go drive down the road, same same road, same speed, see if this thing makes any noise at us. Driving down the road, 50 miles an hour, no seatbelt on. Do not do this, but just showing you that the alarm is not gonna make any noise and you're not even gonna have that annoying light. about that long for the light to actually uh, go off and then uh, start dinging at you but I'm gonna keep talking and shouldn't have any noise this is how my truck's been for the last two years and I just love not having to have it on now I'm not gonna do this this is for the video don't go telling uh, local law enforcement you know that I'm down here in Mexico on a closed course with my seatbelt off going 50 miles an hour but just to prove my point you can drive without your seatbelt on don't be an idiot wear your seatbelt I'm telling you, it'll save your life. Like that's, that's all you need to know. You may think you're a good driver, you're not gonna need it, but one day Granny like can't see too good, it's gonna pull out in front of you and you'll hit her with your big truck and you'll roll over on top of yourself, get thrown out the window, wear your seatbelt, okay? That's like, can't stress it enough. You can't trust other people out there, even if you know what you're doing. And uh, everybody makes mistakes too. Like you may be the best driver ever and you could, you could slip up, so. Driving around, seatbelt's not on. I haven't heard anything yet. I love that. Um, it's just really, really nice to be able to, to turn it on and off as I, as I please. Uh, but I'm, I'm just gonna leave the uh, leave that alarm off because you never need it. Like you know that you're supposed to wear your seatbelt. There's no need for it to tell you. It's just something, a feature that they put in uh, to say that they're more safe as a vehicle. Uh, but it's just downright annoying. I've got a lot of stuff turned off in my truck. If there's other things you got a question about, like I don't have TPMS um, sensor light or anything, 
but I've got no TPMS uh, system like sensors in either of my 40 inch wheels and tire setups because they just don't work right. If you put 40s on there and you're changing tires all the time, it's just a hassle. I could tell if I need to put air in my tires. I just aired them up uh, last night actually because it's been cold. Um, I just turned everything off. I don't know what this guy's doing. He's trying to tell me to he's turning or he's passing. I don't know. He's got his turn signal on and he's pointing out the window. I think he's saying he's turning right here. Oh, go. No? Okay. I don't know what was. I thought he was trying to tell me to go around him there for a second and then he pulled. Then he waited to turn right there. That was weird. I think his turn signal would have sufficed there. Maybe I should get a dash cam. People are crazy out here. Well, that about sums up my video. I uh, just wanted to share this with y'all. It's something super easy to uh, to get rid of that annoying seatbelt, uh, alarm, chalk chime whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what the, I think you can look in your owner's manual and it'll tell you specifically how to do it to your vehicle um, and there's also different uh, some vehicles may not be able to do it but in Ford trucks it's pretty simple the only thing that changes is like how many times you put it in and out of the seatbelt uh, for different years as far as I can tell I think some of the older ones you had to put it in and out more times uh, but just look it up for your specific vehicle I just kind of want to put it out there that it is a thing and uh, if there's something you don't like about your truck odds are you can change it like when you're driving down the road and it automatically locks the door for you because of how fast you're going you can turn that off even my 98 f-150 i used to have i ended up uh, turning that on because it wasn't a setting but there's all kinds of little cheat codes and stuff 